Hello, Growth Vegan here, back with another episode of Star Sector with Simon Belter, the smug smuggler for the tri on faction. We are going to try to find something to salvage today. And, oh my god, survey volcanic world. Oh my. That's quite a ways out there, though. Uh, and it's going to take 30 heavy machinery, 140 crew, and 40 supplies. Don't. <laughs> That sounds a little bit out of my my capabilities right now. Although that sounds exactly like something Simon would like to do. So I think we're going to come up here. We're going to jump into this station here. We're going to try to go down to the dockside bar, see if there's any missions. No. Um, let's go in here and just see what ships are for sale. I'm going to go ahead and sell this stuff here, even though... Yeah, I'm gonna pay the tariff. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the the right thing. Pay the tariffs, and let's look and see if there's a tanker and a freighter I could buy from here, and some crew. They do have some tankers. All right, so if I buy this tanker, we can get uh, a lot more fuel capacity. Three hundred more fuel capacity. It's eleven thousand. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Okay, and I'm gonna need some extra crew for that, and I need some extra cargo hold space. This guy can hold 120, and he's expensive. I really need something smaller that can hold some extra cargo. This guy can hold 70 extra cargo for this mud skipper. He's pretty cheap. I don't know if 70 is worth it for the cost. How about these shuttles? What can they hold? Only hold 20. Okay. Um. Alright. How about this Tarsus Freighter? He can hold 300, but he's 26,000. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what's on the black market right quick. Uh, just to see. Here's a Buffalo Freighter. A pirate version. He can hold 300. It's 24,000. That's really what I need, honestly. But... I might just have to settle for one of these combat freighters. A wayfarer. Oh, a wayfarer is also, also gives you a bonus to... Um, oh, I thought that I thought they gave you a bonus to the uh, salvaging. But no, I will go ahead and buy one, though. I'll go ahead and buy one of these. Alright, so I'm going to use up all my money. I'm going to get a wayfarer combat freighter. I'm going to get a tanker. We're going to get some crew to handle these guys. Uh, let's go in here and auto-fit some machine guns and things on here I am going to add a militarized subsystem on this thing so that we can get better burn times on these guys alright there we go and he needs militarized oh he can't he can't use a mil he's already got a militarized thing okay because he's a combat freighter Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, we're going to name him the Scrapper. And I don't want the... The Galeen is fine, but I don't want the PLS on there. So... There we go. That's fine. Now, um... I wanted to show you combat, so I was hoping to get into combat this episode, but I don't think that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how combat works. And I'm going to take my my guy here into combat and uh, show you how that works in a simulation. So I'm just going to run a simulation, and my opponents, I think we'll just bring out a little combat freighter or something here. Let's see. Uh... Something small, like a mud, a mud skipper is a little too small. Uh, how about a hound pirate combat freighter? I'm going to deploy him. All right, so this is the strategic screen. So the way this works is you can take your, the uh, ships in your fleet and you can issue them orders to go places, uh, to attack certain vessels, to, uh, you know, protect each other or run escort for certain ships so uh, this is pretty useful for a grand scheme of the battle 
And then you have the tactical screen in which you control your ship with WASD and then you can cycle through your different weapons. They have different firing arcs. You can raise your shields like so and then you can fire. He's, he's firing his machine guns and you can see that one of the important things about combat is your flux. So as you get damage to your shields or fire your weapons you will generate flux and flux is basically heat stored in your well it's not just heat it's it's just overall energy usage in your vessel so as you build up heat and energy in your vessel you uh, you have to then disengage and vent that flux so that you don't over uh, overload just like that See, and you can see I've, I've now overloaded I can't fire any weapons I can still fly but I can't fire any weapons and I'm basically a sitting duck until uh, I gain control again but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple missiles at this guy he's he's now flamed out I shot my missiles and now I'm gonna try to take him out he's basically a sitting duck no he's back shooting his machine guns those machine guns do kinetic damage to my shields which then increased my flux by quite a bit so he's actually very effective against me uh, <laughs> I'm not as effective against him my heavy mortars do high explosive damage which is good against armor and hull very bad against shields but he doesn't have any shields but uh, since I raised my shields against him his uh, he, he can make me overload really quickly so it's kind of a, a trade-off. You, you have to you have to try to learn how to trade what kind of damage you want, basically. I think I'm just gonna take the the damage he's dealing out. Oof, he's hurting. He is hurting me. Got me down to half health. Obviously, this is just a simulation, so no ships are injured in the in the course of this combat. But this just gives you an idea of what combat is like and how tough it can be obviously if you have other ships to help you they can play certain roles like I would have somebody else take out his shields while I take out his armor and uh, all would be well there so that's how combat works you're welcome all right so now that I got my ships here let's go back into the cargo screen we're gonna need 111 crew just to man our ships so let's get uh, Let's get an extra 100 crew on board. That will put me up to 186. I only need 111 to man my crew, so I'll have a little bit extra to do some uh, surveying and things like that. I'm going to need some fuel. Alright, so that's going to be extra monies. And I'm going to go ahead and grab just a few more supplies. And that's all my money. <laughs> so... We are definitely going to have to find a mission to uh, to get some money. So let's head over to one of our systems. And let's look at, I think, we have a system here. And I believe we're at war with the Sindrian Dict uh, Dictate. Yeah. yeah, I went into the... It's fine. I went into the uh, black market, so he's like, hey... Oh, looky here. A derelict ship. Oh, and it's not too far away. That is the perfect opportunity for Simon. And it's 60k. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'm going to accept it. Show it on the map. Yes, I got enough fuel to get there and back. So, we're going to go salvage that. We may even be able to get a ship from that. And I have a few extra crew members. So, I think... Oh, look, like there's some enemies outside this gate here. I'm just gonna hightail it out of here and hopefully they don't see me. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save this. Because <laughs> you never know. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna do this mission. A Domain Error Probe. Where's that at? Uh, it's on the opposite side. Better pass on that. We're just gonna focus on getting this derelict ship. This is the perfect opportunity for a guy like Simon. Um... Uh, 
these clouds that are kind of dark purple like this, they typically don't have storms. The ones that are light purple have hyperspace storms in which you fly through them and it damages your ship. So you have to be pretty careful when you're flying through hyperspace to avoid those storm clouds. All right. Got my monthly stipend from Tritachion, so that's good. I'm going to fly up and around this way. Hopefully there'll be a opening in these clouds that I can get through. Here's one. Looks like a nice little opening. Don't get hit by the lightning. There you go. All right. Oh, and I advanced to level two. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to focus on the industry portion of the skill tree down here. And I think I'm going to try to get recovered ships start with 20 to 40 percent hull integrity and combat readiness. And, uh, yeah. But I also would like to find something where derelict ships. Uh, yeah, I, want, I really want to upgrade this this recovery operations to level two, honestly. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my point on upgrading that to level two. I might and I might even go up to level three, but I'm gonna get the level two first uh, on both of those skills, so that I can maximize my salvaging. All right, let's fly through these clouds here. This looks pretty. Oop, stay away from that storm cloud there. There we go. Excellent piloting there, Simon. Okay, let's go to this uh, system here and see if we can find that derelict ship that uh, was advertised. I'm going to do a quick save. Here we go. Alright, so this is an uncolonized system, so I don't have to worry about turning on my transponder. And I think I found something already. What is this? A mud skipper. Oh. Let's explore it. And I found some data in the databanks of a debris field in the Zenobia system. Okay. So I couldn't recover the ship, but I did get some small amount of goods from there. So that's good. Let's take a look at the intel that we found. A debris field in Zenobia, which is a neighboring system there. All right, so that we might be able to go there for salvage. Let's take a look at this thing. It said the derelict ship is some distance away from the center of the Shiro star galaxy. So should be around here somewhere. But let's go. We see something on our sensors here. So let's go check that out. Let's go check that out. Oh my. Nice debris field here. All right, low risk. So I'm gonna go grab everything there. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more significant risk one. I did lose some machines, but that's fine. I think we're all right. And now I still need to find the main thing. I'll also go down here and check with my sensors down there. There might be something we can find over there. There's something over here. Several somethings, oh my. Oh, who are you? I don't know, but he's he's uh, pinging me. But here's the Shepherd class drone tender that I'm supposed to be finding for this mission. I'm going to run the sensor package on him. Get my 60k. Oh, yeah. Let's explore it. I gained one Colossus class modified freighter blueprint. Oh, nice. That's good. All right. And now let's uh, salvage this thing. Not much for salvage there. Um, I could go up here and check that out. I'm even going to save it just right quick, just in case it's a trap. <laughs> this is going to be one of those games where I save scum, so. Oh my god, look at all these derelict ships. Here's a tanker over here. What's the, who is this? Who are you? Look at all these derelict ships. Oh my god. I'm going to have to turn off my sustained burn so I can get these things. Found another debris field, okay. Can't actually get the ship, so that's unfortunate. Oh my god, look at all these derelicts. This is awesome. Oh, what is this? This is a heavy standard freighter. Oh my god, a Colossus. I'm going to go ahead and recover it. It only takes seven uh, supplies to recover that thing. That's awesome. Okay. Dangerously combat redis. Yes. 
I could go ahead and bring it up to the combat readiness. It will use extra supplies and it'll take 19 days to repair this thing. So I'm tempted to go ahead and mothball the ship for now. And then uh, just in case we need to get some other ships here. I don't like need this at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and mothball it for now. That way it, we, we can bring it with us but we don't get any of the benefits of the ship in the fleet. So that's what we're gonna do for now. Here's another tanker over here. I'm gonna salvage it. Oh, this is this is jackpot for Simon right here. This is exactly what we needed. They, they must be another salvager. Yeah. What is this? Another derelict ship. Man, look at all this salvage. Oh my god. This is awesome. I'm getting tons of experience for this too. You can see for every ship that I discover, I gain experience. So that's awesome. Wolf Frigate. Oh my lord, what happened here, I wonder? Like a huge fight or something. And I gained 84 crew from abandoned pods. That's awesome. <laughs> They've been in cryostasis, I guess. Just waiting to be rescued. This is, this is great. And I found the location of a supply cache. This is, this is wonderful. This is turning out just right. Real ladylike. I'm over my capacity of fuel. So unless I find another tanker or something, I'm going to have to dump some of this fuel. Another, a minor weapons cache? Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dump this extra fuel for now. And we can come back and get it if we get something that can handle it. Alright. And we're almost to our maximum cargo capacity as well. So unless we find another ship, there's a kite right here. I'm going to go ahead and recover it. It's It'll be small, so it won't hurt us to recover it. And I gained a blueprint. Man, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. We are gaining all kinds of stuff. A mud skipper. Someone is weed eating, weed eating outside. And it's uh, hopefully not <laughs> coming in on the, uh, on the microphone here. All right, so we've got uh, a little bit of extra stuff. Got some harvested organs. That's all that was left of those crew members, I guess. All right, so I think I should be able to pick up all the rest of the stuff now. Yeah. Now that I've got these other ships recovered. And still a little over on that one. Here's some more cargo. Uh, should I go ahead and unmothball this ship? I think I should. And then let's go and refit these things. Uh, it'll lose combat readiness in space, so I better not refit it just yet. Because I don't want to... Uh... Alright, I'm going to do a quick save after that haul, man. That was that was great. That was great. Let's see what we got here. Down here. A minor supply cache. I'm, I'll be entering the corona of this star to get that. Uh, so I'm going to lose some supplies there. Uh, oh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Oh my god. I'm using tons of supplies trying to get to that. That's eh, not worth it. Not worth it. Let's see if I can get in now. Eh, get a run at it? Nope. I can't. Okay. Well. I'm not going to waste a bunch of supplies. Alright, let's see if we can find some additional debris or anything. There's a couple of salvagers out there. I don't know what they're doing. Got to be careful. Never know who might be greedy. An orbital habitat. Oh my god, yes. Explore this, please. I found a pod. Ooh, I got an officer. Nice. Oh my god, look at all this good stuff. Fantastic. And since I got an officer, I can assign an officer now to one of my ships here that I want them to control in combat. And that will give them additional benefits of like skills and things. So she's uh, level 15. Oh my god, she's awesome. 
Yeah, I'm gonna sign her to my wolf for now. A wolf frigate. So she will help me in combat quite a bit. All right, and now one more debris field. Found an ultra-rich rare deposit location. That's good. You can use those to kind of go to uh, find you know nice colony, nice potential colonies. Yeah, below. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I know. Some of my ships are below combat readiness. I realize. Okay, let's get out of here. And we're going to uh, come down here, check out, see if there's anything to be discovered near this gate. And then I think we're going to head back to our system, sell off some of the stuff, repair our ships. And maybe, you know, we could even sell them really because it's not like they're great or anything. They're actually quite crappy, but they're free, so other than the supplies it takes to refurbish them. Another derelict ship. Oh, an Enforcer class destroyer. Nice. And I hit an asteroid. And I can't, can't salvage it. But I found some <laughs> some Volturnian lobsters on board. Mmm, I bet they're fresh. So, I'm going to grab those. Oh, I'm over my fuel limit. Okay. And I leveled up again. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and take that level. Alright, so that I, when I recover ships, I get more from them. And now we're going to uh, we're gonna head out. What is this? A weapons cache. Sweet! Oh my god, what do I find here? Heavy burst laser. Excellent. Rocket launcher. Salamander. I got me some fighter wings. So both high tech too, that's awesome. And then lots and lots of blueprints, which is also awesome for whenever I get a colony later in the game. I'll take a look at those before I decide whether or not I want to keep them or sell them. I'm going to keep this fuel because I'm about to burn quite a bit jumping out to hyperspace here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. That's going to burn some of that extra fuel I got. And now we're going to head back to known space. I'm going to lay in course to up there. It's going to be just about take all the fuel that I have to get back up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick, another quick save just right quick. I'm going to, I'm going to very carefully navigate through these hyperspace clouds without my sustained burn because it's pretty nasty. Someone's sending out a distress call. I'm sorry, buddy. Can't help you. Oh, no, I got hit by a hyperspace storm. Oh, I screwed that up. All right. Well, you can see what happens. <laughs> it, like, boosts you in some random direction. Usually, a generally direction you're facing, but it also does damage to your to your ships and lowers your combat readiness overall. So, it's typically a bad thing. You don't want to be hit by storms. Although sometimes it can save you if someone's chasing you, you hit one and it like throws you way off course. But uh, yeah, you know, it's give and take. Take the good with the bad, you know. All right, so let's head back up to known space, sell off some of our goods. You can see we got up to a hundred thousand credits this episode, so that's good, just from that one mission. And we're we're actually going to get more after we sell all of this goodies that we got. Ideally, I would try to find the best place to sell that lobster, but I'm probably just going to dump it wherever I, wherever I park at, so. I'm not a trader. I mean, I will do trade missions, but that's not my primary focus. My primary focus is salvage and eventually exploration if I can get enough stuff. Um, I would love to get some uh, additional salvaging stuff. I think if I get a drone tender ship that will also help with my salvaging abilities as well. I gotta watch out for those guys because they are my enemies. Alright, so let's head over here. That's unfortunate. This system has both my faction and the enemy faction so we could run into some bad stuff here. So let's just hop into here. Turn our transponder on. Alright, let's see if we can get, get away from 
all these vessels here. But yeah, see, our fleets and these Sindarin fleets are having a war, so we might be able to find some good salvage here, actually. Man, I can try to steal this relay from them. Mine now. <laughs> they don't like me. Too bad. Too bad. Okay. What we got here? Uh, a museum ship. Okay. Let's go in there and check this out. No longer space worthy. This old ship was stripped, given a new coat of paint, and turned into a museum. Alright, I'll pay one credit to visit it. Oh, look at this! I gained experience just for visiting that museum. That is awesome. I've never seen that before. Alright, so a little bit of a combat going on right outside our home planet here. I'm going to come in here and we are going to sell some stuff. Like this lobster, these domestic goods, heavy armaments, that, organs, that stuff. Um... I'm not too sure about selling these weapons and things. I might need them to refit my ships. So I'm going to hang on to those for now. I'm going to keep these fighter wings because they're both high tech. So that's good. I'm probably going to keep these blueprints. Even though I won't be able to make anything from them for a while. I'm going to go ahead and learn those. So that whenever I do get uh, a colony I can, uh, I can learn how to make those. Heavy blaster blueprint. Uh... I could make weapons in a colony eventually. Uh, all of these three are weapons blueprints. This is a modified freighter blueprint for the Ludic Path. I don't want Ludic Path ships. I'm going to sell that. Woo, yeah. Uh, I will learn all these three. Alright, so eventually if I get a colony started, I can, uh, I can make stuff. And that will be great. Let's go to... The fleets, uh, the refit screen. Let's get these things fitted out. I know they're really junky. I mean, look at this: degraded engines, increased maintenance, <laughs> erratic fuel injector. I mean, this thing is actually really crappy. It's using extra fuel and extra supplies. It's got compromised storage. Uh, it's really junky. I probably should just sell it. This thing's pretty crappy too. It's got structural damage, unreliable subsystems. Radic fuel injector. I really should just sell all these, really. This guy, let's see what he's got. Degraded engines and compromised storage. He's not too bad. I'll go ahead and keep him. But these two, I don't think I should keep any ship that's over two bars of damage. I mean, that's just... Let's go ahead and sell them. Let's just sell those suckers. All right. Yep, I'm going to sell that. And then I'm going to sell this guy. You know, it's not not a lot of money from them, but uh, I think it might be useful in the long run to to uh, to keep <laughs> only the only decent ships. Like this is about as bad as I can let myself go here. All right, so let's take a look and see what we can buy for ships. There's some good mud skippers. I need this salvage rig eventually to uh, do better salvage but I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment uh, let's look on the black market see what we got nothing really good I need a freighter of some sort to replace the one I just got rid of here's a hound combat freighter I really need a real freighter like a like a buffalo freighter to carry some goods but I don't see one here so all right that's fine that's fine. Let's take a look at the bar and see what we got here. There's a concerned woman in here. She's got 370 units of food that need to be delivered to the Ludic Path. 370 units of food. I can only accommodate 328, but it's 16,000 credits. If I had another ship, if I hadn't sold that ship I just sold, I'd have enough crew for it. Hmm. I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline that for now. Let me go ahead and leave. And I'm going to do a little quick save. And we'll just do a quick fly around here. And see Lion's Guard Recon. 
I wonder if we could take on this one light destroyer. Yeah, especially since someone else is attacking it. Let's jump in there and help them out. Oh, we lost the opportunity. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to just fly around this debris field here. Hopefully not get attacked by these Sindarin fleets. I might be able to find something good here. Some good salvage. I'm just a salvager. You guys ignore me. Don't mind me. High risk. I'm going to leave for now. What's this? Is this a derelict ship? A vigilance class frigate. And I'm going to go ahead and recover it. We might end up selling it. It's level 3 damage, though. So not great. Alright. Let's go ahead and do it some salvage down here. Risk is low. Oh, yeah. We were salvaging fools. There's all kinds of combat going on, so... There's another scavenger doing the same thing I'm doing. There's quite a little battle going on. I think we're going to lose. I think our buddies are going to lose. Monitor class frigate. Explore that. Uh-oh. Security patrol. Yeah, I want this frigate. Oh, is he part of that fleet? What's the deal? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to mess with them. Okay. I guess, oh, I guess they are taking on that derelict ship. Gotcha. That's why I kept saying that they were part of that fleet. Let's head down here to this uh, independent world. Let's see if we can find some respite from <laughs> from all the battles. I'm going to repair my ships. There we go. Let's take a look. Speaking of repairing my ships, let's take a look at this guy. What does he got? Increased maintenance. Hey. Glitch sensor array and structural damage. He's really not that good. But I think I'm going to keep him for now. Let's just auto fit him to be a fire support. Yeah. We'll just uh, we'll keep him for now. He's not very good, but we can keep him for now. Okay. All right. I think I saw an intel come up for a mission that we might be able to do. Analyze a derelict ship. Let's take a look at this. Show on the map. I do not have enough fuel to get there and back, but I might have enough fuel to get. If I fly here, I can get some more fuel, and then I might have enough fuel to get there and back. So I think we'll do that, and then we'll probably go out to this station, uh, grab some fuel, and then we'll end this episode. We've got lots of good stuff this this episode from our uh, salvaging. Lots of good opportunities were made. So, oh my god, there's more derelicts out here. Oh my. I'm going to recover. Oh my. I don't have the crew for it. I'm going to go ahead and recover him, though. And then I'm going to come in here to the fleet, and I want to mothball him. There we go. So that we're just basically tugging it along. Let's look at this kite. Not much in the kite. It's a tiny little shuttle ship, basically. So, let's turn off my transponder. Don't want the bad guys to know where I Oh, look, there's another battle down there. Hi! Oh, mama. Yeah, salvage opportunities. Okay. Look at this Colossus. Eh, not much. Combat Freighter Hound. Okay, let's explore it. There we go. Yeah. Take what we can get. We're salvagers. Let's head over here and see what we can grab. Turn the transponder back on. Oh, if I'm interested in getting this domain area probe. Oh, it's withdrawn already. I took too long to take it. Or wait. Did I take it already? 
No, I didn't. Darn. I guess I missed it. That sucks. I don't want to do anything for those guys. Uh, let's go exploration. Oh, no, it's still here. It's still here. I can still accept it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and accept it so I don't forget. 70,000 reward. Heck yeah. Let's find a decent colony. Ugh, that's hard to do. I guess we'll go to the uh, hegemony here. Watch out for those Ludic Path. Alright, that's Ludic. Is that Path or Church? Yeah, it's the Church. Okay, they're, they're a little less creepy than the Path guys. So, don't have to be quite as worried. Alright, so I'm going to come in here. Uh... He told me the location of a pirate base. Alright. Well, I'm nowhere near the strength to take on a pirate base. Alright. So I can come in here. I can grab some fuel. And maybe a few supplies. Oof. It's expensive. But it'd be worth it. I'm going to sell that extra metal we got. And I think that will be good. Um, heavy machinery. We got, we got enough to do some salvaging so all right i think we're in good shape i'm gonna go ahead and leave here we're gonna save it and then we're gonna call it quits i hope you enjoyed this episode next episode we'll head out for that uh derelict or I mean, that domain era pro what are we doing uh derelict ship another derelict ship out here and uh see if we can take on some more salvage so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.